Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter. Today we're doing a comparison of the RX 480 and the RX 580 in terms of performance. Now, before you get all your panties in a bunch, I do not have an RX 480. So what I'm doing is, since it's technically the same silicon, except a different model year. So what I'm doing is I'm underclocking my RX 580 and I am benching accordingly. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the 580 and I'm making it core clock of 1120 megahertz, which is base. And then I'm just doing it just to, to show you. So the RX 480 is going to be 1120, memory 1750. I have it all written down. I'm actually doing a chart here of the performance of all the things. I'm in the middle of benching right as we speak. So hopefully this will be done today because people are complaining. So 1120, 1120 megahertz, 1750 RAM, 12, 1266 megahertz, and 1750 RAM. Then we're going to 1257 megahertz, 2000 RAM, which is the RX 580 base clock. Then we're going to the boost clock of 1340 and 2000 megahertz for the RAM. Then we're going to the MSI card that I have, which is stock at 1366. So it's a slight bump in performance, 1366 megahertz. And then my overclock that I got a nice rock solid of 1425 megahertz at 2000 RAM. So uh, I have results now, but I'm going to wait and give you nice, the nice graphic. <laughs> so you can see the comparison for yourself. And it's, it's actually... If, you, if the RX 480 actually ran 1120, there's a huge difference between 1120, 1750 megahertz to 1425 and 2000 megahertz. There is a monstrous jump. But if you went from 1266 to 1366 in memory, it's, it's a, it's, there is a jump, but ever so slight, and you'll see. So what we're looking at here is this awesome chart that I did. It, it, this is going to be on for a little while, so, so you can actually look at it. But I have a red box around um, two figures. The RX 480 um, is 1266 and 1750, which is what I guess the reference design is. And then the, the stock clock for an RX 580 is 1257 megahertz and 2000 megahertz RAM. If you notice, there's not much difference between the two. And that is the reason why I have it around a box because it's, if you look at the two cards, I mean, there is a difference, but not a whole hell of a lot. So now we move up to the next one up, which is 1340 and 2000. And at that point, you can see the difference between 1266, 1750, and 1340 and 2000. And you can see the difference between the two. Now, this is superposition I use because this seems to be the best test for this. I do have another graphic that I'm going to show you uh, momentarily on the how many frames per second we are getting. These are, these are the actual results in terms of score, but you also want to see the frames per second, which is also very important. So as you keep going up, you get 1366-2000, which is my MSI card. And if you go down from, you know, you can just clearly compare the two. And then the top one is the overclock, and that is, uh, you know, 1425 or 2000. I find I did have a crash again. The driver did crash, and uh, it's, it's probably recommended if you're going to run it, that is to crank up the fan automatically versus letting it doing automatically. Automatically, it, it tends to crash more often. If you max it out all the way 100% or 75%, then it won't, um, it won't have a driver crash. So now we're going to go on to the other graphic, and you can see the frames per second now. So th this is actually really cool. Now, if you look carefully, you can look at the stock clock of the RX 480 1120, 1750 megahertz. These are medium high extreme, medium high extreme, all the way across the bottom. So you can clearly see the minimum, the maximum, and the average frames per second per benchmark. It's extreme. I had to do each one of these bad boys. <laughs> Holy mackerel. So you can imagine how long it took. And I got it done today. So it's uh, 1.30 in the afternoon right now. So anyway, if you clearly see, 
going from the RX 480, 1120, 1750 megahertz for the RAM, all the way up to my overclock, which is the 1425 2000, you can clearly see, if you're looking at the maximum frame rate, you can clearly see the difference between the two. 64.84 versus 78.83. Now, that's, um, that's medium. We're comparing medium. So you want to go to high, then you can compare. So it's 41.7 versus 51.67. So 10 frames a second difference between the two. So, I mean, you could speculate. You could say, wow, that's awesome change. That's a great bump. But personally, it's only 10 frames a second difference from the absolute lowest clock to the absolute highest clock. So let's go minimum. I mean, it's really, so let, let's go, let's compare, let's go between the two cards that are pretty much stock. So 1266, so let's do the RX 480, 1266, 1750 medium. So we take the, the fourth one in from the left, and we'll compare that to the stock clock medium, which is 1340 at 2000 megahertz. So we're going, so 71.29 versus 75.8 frames per second. So it's only a few frames per second difference between a stock RX 480 and a stock RX 580. You really think that's worth a refresh? Remember I said it was only going to be a couple of frames per second different? <laughs> We were right, or I was right. I mean, this clearly shows everything. I mean, I'm leaving this graphic up for a while so you guys can look at it. And, and, and really, you can hit pause if you want, but then you won't hear me talking. But if you notice, everything is pretty much where it's supposed to be. This is an accurate test. A very, very accurate test. So we, if you go all the way over to the extreme, 1425, 2000, and we go to the stock clock extreme, 1387 versus 1548, and 20, almost 20 frames a second versus 22.44 frames a second, and 1742 versus 19.47. So there's not much of a difference in terms of frames per second um, there at all. You can be your own judge. The results are plain and simple. They're cut and dry. What you see is what you get. This is an uh, obviously an overclocked RX 480 video card. Simple as that. Uh, hopefully someone else could <laughs> make my information incorrect, but I really don't think so. But I only had time to do the superposition. This is very time consuming, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Because now it's a true comparison between the two cards. Hey guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Before I go though, I want to let you guys see that the superposition benchmark does not register the card correctly. It states it as an RX 470 480. Isn't that interesting? So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.